I am Parker, and I use they, them pronouns. And I'm Mike, and I am he, him, and whatever else uh, fits. And this is the The Graphic Graphic Novel Novel Podcast. Welcome to our show. Thanks for listening. Yeah, this is a show where we read graphic novels or sometimes some uh, short comics, um, zines, things like that. And uh, then we do a review discussion. And we can talk about uh, a lot of different things on this show. Sometimes we talk about divorce. Sometimes we talk about abortion. A lot of times we talk about queer issues. Uh, We have kids and relationships, all different kinds of stuff. So, yeah. yeah. So it's a a cool show. And we're glad you're listening. And if you like our show, we'd appreciate if you go to... Twitter. Go to Apple Podcasts and give us a great rating. And if you leave a review, we may read it on the air. And if you visit us at anchor.fm graphic novel podcast, you can actually leave a voice message that we can play on the air. (gasps) That's exciting. Do you remember growing up and hearing your voice, thinking how cool it would be to hear your voice on the radio? Yeah. All right. Well, and on to today's show. Hi, Mike. Hello, Parker, and welcome to another week. How are you doing? Um, well, as everyone knows, uh, when we recorded our last show, the world hadn't shut down. Um, but uh, Now it has. It has. The United States Mostly. is uh, shutting down, pretty much. And, uh, and we're not even... We're still like two weeks behind Italy, so things are going to get uh, things are going to get worse before they get better. I haven't I haven't read anywhere, and I was wondering if you had because because I, I, I keep seeing everywhere all all these people complaining about being stuck home, and so mm-hmm. it just it feels really it feels like too much. Well, and so I'm I kind of like I've been kind of trying to not go on like Facebook and stuff. I know, but um, have you read anything that says like since we've started? Like, it's been a week now. Uh, it's only been half a week, really, but mm-hmm. it's been almost a week since we started social distancing. Mm-hmm. Have they? Has anybody seen like a, a difference in our curve versus oh, Italy? Probably not yet. Probably not yet. When How long st- do you think? When it'll you be still have people we... in San Francisco going out and jogging and everything, oh, God, I know. And, well, even, even though their whole county though? is shut down. Yes, but there's like a lot of people out. I, I mean, know. I'm still surprised. I, yeah. Well, I'm a bus driver, so it's a little. Uh, surprising to me. I mean, people still have to get to work because there are a lot of places still open. People still work in retail. Yeah. Um, you know, so a lot of that stuff is still going on. But I'm and hospitals. The care take the care yeah, that's I not have, being taken. Yeah. Yes. I I, I. I mean, we don't supply gloves or uh, hand sanitizer or anything on the bus. But I I watch people getting on the bus and grabbing all the railings and walking up and down, and sitting. I'll have a bus, you know, with five people, and they all sit within you know eight feet of each I, other. That, see, now that will never make sense to me. You don't mean within eight feet of each other, like they're all eight feet apart. They are, there's within, an eight yes. foot space and mm-hmm. there's three people. In it. Yes. And I'm like, okay, there's a whole fucking bus. Move. Somebody go in the back, somebody in the front, somebody in the middle, you know, just spread out a little bit. Yeah. I was at the store today because I don't I had- get how you don't want to, like, I would, I wouldn't want to be near anybody, even if coronavirus was, wasn't well, happening. I know that, but still, that, that's a little different. It's, it, it, it well, was I mean, never it's kind of like I the thing with the gym, happening. you know, like, don't take the treadmill right next to the, to somebody. Like, if mm-hmm. there's more than one, you know, if there's mm-hmm. open, the, take at least, uh, leave a gap, right? Mm-hmm. Like, that's etiquette. You would think that people would, whatever. Yeah, no, I know. But I was at the store today because I had to pick up a prescription. And so I stood you know, at least four p- feet behind the guy in front of me. Yeah. But then some other guy Four came. feet. It's supposed to be six feet. I would have been way out. He stepped I was, right I was, behind you. He he was, I know. He See, was a little... six. If people, if not everybody is following the guidelines and you leave six feet of space, somebody's going to walk mm-hmm. up and come in front of you. Yeah. So this guy, and I, he's coughing. <gasps> no. He coughed. He didn't cough on me, but he coughed a couple times. Um, but he coughed on you because and, that's what you do. Unless, well, unless he, he came, he was, he was not six feet away. I don't think he was even four feet away. Yeah. And I kept turning around and looking at him. And if don't. he could, and no, if he got closer, I was going to say, could you back up, please? I was waiting. I was just waiting for him to get closer. Yeah. Um, and he, then he walked away and he went and did something. And then he came back and I made sure to move the people had moved up. So I moved. A little bit forward. I moved a little farther, and I, he stayed about the same distance. But I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Maybe you're you're sick, it. too. I don't care what you've got, whether it's a cold I know, or what. Yeah, I mean, it's possible it's just a cold, but away, still, dude. You, it, it compromises your immune system. Just get the fuck and away. if you have a cough, you can't work. 
So yes, yeah. exactly. They don't care if it's the flu or cold or whatever. Exactly, because they don't want to take a chance. Which I, that's fine. I get yeah. that. Anyhow, so that is the world that everybody's living in right now. Um, if it's you, so it, strange, and we're going to be talking about it forever. Yeah, it's we'll like be, our children are out weeks. of school. Mm-hmm. It's going to be. I mean, they say end of end of April, but I feel like most likely they're done for the year. It's possible. I mean, they're doing online stuff and they love it. They they can't wait to get online and do their schoolwork. It's amazing. Yeah, they wake me up at five o'clock. Can I, I get on the computer? I'm like, no, go back to sleep. Yeah, but it, it, it's <laughs> yes, they've gotten up at four thirty when I get up for work too. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So I mean, it's good. They want to keep learning, which is which is a good positive thing. Yes, of course. Um, and I'm complaining about it, like the terrible parent I am. <laughs> but going back to one other thing, you you said that brought up something um i've read uh both ways that people are complaining that they have to spend so much more time with their spouse oh my god yeah divorce rates in china but there's also a lot of people uh, i've seen people post um all these people are complaining i married somebody that i like so i don't mind spending time with them that's that's what somebody but that's us is i feel too yeah i enjoy spending time even if i have to spend some of it uh you know well feet away from you but i know but you know the thing is it's like when you when you and i think we're pretty conscientious of well i am of when you need time you know when you need i i'm not the like i would be on top of you 24 7 if i could that's just the person i am i love to be touching and i love to be stop i love to touch and that you know makes me feel loved but you like to be alone sometimes and Mm -hmm. so you know, I try and give you your distance when you need it. I know. But, um, and I don't, I don't think that has anything to do with whether you are loving your spouse or not. No, no. I, I, I don't know if that even made sense. What I just I, said, I sometimes did, I just can't. I don't think it did, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's I okay. had like 15 drinks of thought because what I'm actually thinking about is these poor people who are stuck in a house with, um, oh, abusive. Ab- abusive spouses, mm-hmm. um, children, uh, c- queer youth, especially who are stuck at home mm-hmm. in unsupportive and unsupportive environments. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm thinking about them a lot and just, just with a heavy heart, just wishing I could just mm-hmm. scoop them all up and, you know, save everybody. Yep. But unfortunately. And, uh, and while we're on this subject of, uh, of coronavirus and all, all that goes with it, um, Suddenly, school systems uh, can give free lunches to kids when before yeah, everywhere. before yeah. they could uh, they could uh, they would they would charge kids or not give kids lunches. They'd send them away on un- unfed. Our, our school never did that. Our school district, but no, in they, general, but yes. they still make them pay. No, no what? Well, they they charge you two lunches. They'll charge you two lunches. Charge two lunches to your account, and once your two lunches in back payment, then they. Don't they don't they won't give you a hot lunch anymore? They'll give oh. you the cold lunch oh, okay. option. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. I know you but said that. Co- I didn't realize what it was. Okay. It's an option that anybody could buy. Like there's always mm-hmm. that option. Right. So it's not like you you are pointed at like you yes, clearly you owe money. Because other kids get it. Right. Because other kids just get it because that's what they prefer. Right. Okay. But lo- that, along with uh, universal basic income, which is becoming a I, hot I don't even topic. Want, I don't even want to, yes, nope. a hot topic, a hot but topic. I'm not, I will and not Medicare believe it until all, it happens. Which is becoming a topic. Yeah. Uh, suddenly all these things are within reach, you know, yeah. so, it's you know, a, it's and amazing. the airline industry, which is asking for $50 billion and a lot of it in, uh, in free money when they, <laughs> when they spent billions, including Boeing here in Seattle, billions buy in stock buybacks. So their executives and their shareholders could get a, a nice chunk of money. Fuck them all. Fuck them yeah, all. You made I'm that. Sorry. You made that clear on Twitter because yesterday. you know. <laughs> because you know what? If Delta or whoever they went out of business, somebody rich, some 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 fund or something, Ted, they would buy Ted them. Ban- and, Branson. And they would. What's his name? Uh, Richard. Richard well, Branson. Virgin Airlines is, uh-huh. is is suspending a lot of their operations right now. Oh really? Yeah. There's less. There's less flights. So but he's he's more. a billionaire, right? I mean, yes, he there's could, a lot. He could them. just fund money in his if he wanted to. And Jack Ma, I think that's his name, Jack Ma from I don't know Alibaba. Name. Sending, oh, sending yeah, yeah. hundreds of thousands of masks and supplies, and supplies to hospitals, here right? To to the United States because our own government and the rich people here can't do it. Yeah, it's so frustrating because like like the Whole Foods thing, Jeff Bezos mm-hmm. is just sitting on piles and piles and piles of money. Oh wait, he's probably lost several billion in the past week. I, the, and and he it doesn't even he doesn't even flinch. No, it I doesn't know. even affect him one bit. It does not affect his daily life one bit. But he wants his employees to to, to pass, share their sick pass time. their sick time around, right? Fuck you. Yep. All right. All right. <laughs> oh. 
All right, welcome to the new segment of the Graphic Novel Podcast. My name is Mike, and here's this week's news. What were you going to say? I was just going to say that fuck you segue was (laughs) not the best. (laughs) All right, well, uh, several comic book publishers... Uh, know that this is tough times um, because everybody has to social distance. Comic book shops are still open. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them, several of them that that we, uh, one of them we want to go to, we haven't got there yet, and I don't know if we're going to get to during this. Uh, but another one that we go to, they're doing extra cleaning, making sure countertops and doorknobs and all that are clean, uh, disinfected uh, throughout the day. Uh, but a lot of them are doing curbside pickup. You can you can just go. Uh, call in your order, whatever, and then they'll when you get there, just call them and they'll bring it out to you, so you don't even have to go in. That's very cool. It's amazing how quickly they were able to come up with oh, again. There, again, we can go through all this. How about the people that couldn't work from home because uh-huh. they were disabled? Their company yeah. said, "Sorry, we can't do that yeah. for you." Yeah, no. Oh, wait, you know what? We need to send all three hundred of you home to work. You know, that's the only way we can do this. And now. they make Fuck it happen. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So I, many things, it- and and the Comcast and the all these companies that can suddenly their caps ca- cap yeah. their their. their limit caps are gone and yeah. all of this is bullshit uh, uh, the 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 american people need to revolt against all of this stuff yeah i don't understand how it hasn't happened know. You know? anyhow going back to this news item sorry um uh several big publishers uh biggest one being image uh also dynamite have announced that they are willing to buy back all um returnable stock from uh, yeah. from retailers because they know retailers are going to be hit hard so I mean, if you can, if you can order comics, if you still can, you know, as long as you have a job and you have money, if you can go and order comics, even if you don't want to go to the store, a lot of stores will do the curbside pickup for you. You shouldn't go to the store. Don't go to the store. You should do the but curbside saying, pickup. But you can do the curbside <laughs> pickup. I know somebody will bring it out to you. Um, but yeah, so a lot of them are do, are, are willing to do this, uh, publishers, because they know that it, it's a tough time and and you know everybody's going to suffer at some point. So uh, let's see what else we got here. Shutter is a new. Um, um, video service that I hadn't heard of before, and they are for people that like um, horror, horror and thriller movies. And uh, Shutter right now, S U S H U D D E R. Oh, if you go there, uh, and, that makes sense. And I forgot what the thing was, but if you put in, uh, they have a special thing. It might be Shutter or COVID. I forget what it was. Oh my god! But you can get a uh, free thirty day trial. So oh wow! You can, so you can try out all kinds of uh, different movies. They got all the all the good horror stuff, Halloween, all that stuff. I don't think I've ever, I mean, not that it's surprising to you, but I've never watched Halloween, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that's a surprise. But I've watched all the Scream movies. <laughs> Are those as scary, though? I mean, when I watched them, like, last month, I laughed through the first exactly. one. Exactly. But they were scary as a kid. Yep. I remember being really scared, but I watched all three. Yep. All right. And there was, um, follow a lot of people on Twitter. And, uh. Dust Bunny Mafia, based on a true story, mini collection. They were giving it away. Um, a bunch, bu- they're a bunch of um, like mafia things with like like anthropomorphic animals and stuff. Like things like uh, um, just different things that you would see in movies or mafia related stuff. You know, like I heard you paint houses. This is something that. Uh, one of the guys had said, one of the Irish mob guys had said, and so they did. They just do these three panels. Apparently, these these were. This is a, uh, a special thing. They have a, they have a um, Kickstarter going now with a whole bunch of uh, stuff that they're doing, uh, but they were offering this for free, so I got it and I was checking it out. It's pretty fun. Dust Bunny Mafia. Cool. All right, and uh, I think that's all in the news we've got for now. We've got some other books. We're doing two books today. Again, for a few weeks, we're going to have two books because we have uh, a couple shorter books. So we're trying to uh, combine them, um, and use some of our bigger ones for whole shows. But uh, we're going to start with uh, Gina Winbrandt's Someone Please Have Sex With Me. Now, I bought that, uh, and it's pretty much how it sounds, too. Someone Please Have Sex With Me. I think that's how it's true. I don't know. <laughs> Gina Winbrand's debut graphic novel is a refreshing and wry look at sexual frustration shot through with American pop culture. Erudition. That doesn't make sense to me. Shot through with American pop culture. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. Oh, let me, what does that word mean? We should have looked it up. Erudition. Definition. 
She's only two years younger than me, too. Quality, uh, the quality of having or showing great knowledge or learning. But the, That's what that the means. sentence doesn't make sense to me. Does it make sense to you? I don't know anymore. It's a it's one sentence synopsis. Gina <laughs> Winbrandt is an artist living in Chicago. Her work has been featured in the Best American Comics and nominated for an Ignatz Award. Two Anna Gribbs for excuse me for her full name are gay anal by twin nerds and want to be sadly trying. <laughs> I see kind of a <clears throat> what. Uh, what do you call that? Connection? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Which is probably why she put it. Gay anal by twin nerds. <laughs> Wanna be sadly trying. She loves sitcoms, teen pop stars. Okay, that's uh, gonna come up. Make up the internet and being the center of attention. Her first book, Someone Please Have Sex With Me, is out now. And has been translated into Danish, Spanish, and Norwegian. All right. Where do we start? The beginning, usually. <clears throat> the beginning. She has, um, you know what? I haven't coughed all day. I don't know what makes me cough here. Is it, it's probably the cats. If I would venture to guess. Um, I wouldn't venture. To so guess. her younger sister uh, is a Bieber, a Bieber fan, Justin Bieber fan, and she's like, "Oh, I don't follow that." I'm, I'm not, 21. Yeah, I'm 21. And then she li- watched a video, and she's like, "Oh, he's cute." And then she starts watching, and she becomes obsessed. What, aren't they called be- believe believers? The, yeah, believers. She became a believer, like <laughs> over, like crazy. Like she owned posters like, every- on the wall, posters, t- um, uh, tweeting him, but everything, toothbrush, and puzzles. Oh, and yeah, the rugs toothbrush and That's cereal, right. anything that you could think of, she had, and she just loved. And all she did was think. Are about- there really? Do those things really exist? They probably did. Bieber cereal. Yeah. Uh, so she tweeted to to, uh, to him multiple times. Um, Told her sister one day that, did you hear the new song? She's like, oh, I'm over him. You know? Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Like, oh, well, He's not. I'm not. You know, she's like a crazy fan. And yeah. the, the story, the story has a funky ending, but she tweets to uh, Justin Bieber every once in a while. And he acknowledges it at some point. But uh, then there's this other, she does Tiger Beat. Do you ever remember Tiger Beat? Did you ever see Tiger Beat? Me? Yeah. Tiger Beat? No. Okay, she's your age, but she knows what Tiger Beat is. Okay, what is it? It's a magazine. It used to be the the magazine where all but the, I wasn't. I think where that, all the pop pop like that, like the Beavers and and the. But see, I didn't do uh, it. Ha- I didn't... Like Harry Styles and all those, they would all be in there, and they Harry have... Styles. Yeah, she's got a picture of Harry Styles. I didn't ever pay attention to anything like that. We didn't get magazines out in the woods. <laughs> Did you say this? Did you see this where she was saving this picture? And it, she shows what she's got for the different folders. Barely legal. Twinks slash gay for pay. Oh, my God. Yeah. Bulges, what was that? OMFG. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Um, even I She's know. attracted to hot, skinny, yeah, yeah. gay guys? Well, gay looking, maybe. Um, what does gay look like? Oops. <laughs> That's a good question. Well, I met. Oh, you're right. It's a good question. Um, Thank you. <laughs> well, you don't know that they're all gay. I think she just. It's this, That's twink is a. Well, does she? Is twink in there? There's no twink. In you there. said oh, twink. Oh, yes. Twink's gay for pay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So she's Anyhow. looking at what, gay porn or something. Mm-hmm. Or is she naming the folders this so that other people won't look at them? No, I'm sure not. That's where she's hiding all the pictures. Ha- or not hiding them. The, okay, so she but, has she has a she has this dream with Kim Kardashian that she's suddenly hot and I can't remember. Was it a dream or was she high or something? No, I think she was dreaming. I mean, I think she must have been high, but she was dreaming. Uh and then then the story, someone please have sex with me. She joins uh is that the one? No, that's not the one. Oh, she gets online and she starts chatting, <laughs> chatting, and <clears throat> I don't know. This... I had my friend tell me the other day. She's like, "I just got a uh, an Instagram, an Instagram message or DM, whatever." And uh, this guy told How old are you? this guy told me that I was cute or beautiful or something. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. Uh, how many followers does he have? And it was Four. like 45 or 75 uh, or something, like nothing. And I'm like, okay, um, how many? And she told me how many people he's following. And I said, and how many of them are women? All of them. Oh, wait, except for these celebrities, The Rock and uh, um, who else was it? 
mm-hmm. some other wrestling or you know celebrities. Only the only men that he followed were were celebrities. Vin Diesel, that's who it was. Right. So, so I was like, yeah, I, I, he's probably fake. Yeah. Yep. But, I'm not. I don't know why that story pops into my head, but it did. But she's got a couple of these stories. She's got one about her aging. And getting older. Oh my god, I I kind of love that story. Aging and aging, and and finally she gets a a, a Pikachu uh, sex toy, sex robot. Mm-hmm. And another story where um, where she. I really liked her art. Oh yeah, it's very good, and it's all it's Kim all Kardashian and, and Bieber too. Yeah, they're, they're, they're really yeah. realistic. Yeah, she's got uh, um, where her what is it a cat? Oh, she goes gets. This cat, she uses, talks to this cat, and the cat, like, uh, oh my god, her to, oh my god, I forgot about the cat. Not to, to, basically, he's teaching her to be tough. That's what this like, cat is doing. It's just this weird ass. But thing. it's got a human face. The cat does. It does. It does. It does. You ever had a barbed penis inside you before? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and there's another story, too. But it is, um, it's definitely interesting. She, um, uh well, Lisa Hanawal, production designer and producer of Bojack Horseman, says bow down to Gina as she explores what it means to be horny as hell. And I guess that's a good way to end that part of it. Horny as hell. All right. All right, what else do we have this week? My friend. This okay, our other book. Sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm I I just I my mind is on yeah, so I, many other things I right know, now I, and I so our next book this week was is Cat Boy by mm-hmm. Benji Nate. We picked up that one at uh, Short Run back in November. D- I just looking at the cover makes me happy. Yeah, that's why I grabbed it. It looked, it's it looks it happy and mm-hmm. yeah and fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the um, it's full color too. I really like the full color book. Gina's art was really good too. Just just to yes, we didn't we didn't touch her, on her that very art much. was really good. There was a le- like neon pink and. Mm-hmm. And blues and I mean it was fun. The stories were a little funky. I guess that's uh horny as hell. That's her. Anyhow, so tell us about Catboy. I will as soon as my phone decides to well then I will tell you about Benji Nate. Tell us about Benji Nate. Benji Nate is in North North American folklore. Benji Nate is said to be an upright walking creature of small stature that dwells in college towns and draws comics. Alleged witnesses describe the creature as less than five feet tall. Non-threatening, antisocial, and definitely in need of a decent haircut. The most recent sightings have occurred in the Ozarks, where there are three cats, one dog, and loving husband, Michael Sweater. The book is from Silver Sprocket. It came out in 2019, so it was brand new when we got it. So tell us about Cat Boy. Hi, I'm Olive. My cat, Henry, is my best friend. I saw a shooting star and wished he could hang out with me like a person. I think I should have been more careful with my wording. <laughs> this graphic novel collects the hit ongoing weekly comic series from Vice.com, along with all new, exclusive, and unreleased material. This contemporary series is cute, fierce, funny, and adventurous. This book is full color. I said that already. Full that's color. Fine. It's nice. It is it is just it's a fun, fun book. Yes. This it's is a fun. fun book. This is um the art is a little uh, manga-like a little bit, I would think. Yeah, a little bit. Um, it's fun. Um, I mean, the first story is about Henry the cat being her best friend, and then suddenly uh, Henry is an anthropomorphic cat. And trying to, <laughs> and learning to be, be like exist as a human, cat human. Cat human. Or a cat, human cat. A, or a cat boy. A cat boy, yeah. And uh, the cat boy has a great sense of style. Oh, Yes. Cat boy, uh, like before each uh, before each new story, she has a uh, a picture of the two of them together, and in each one, um, well, he's not in this one, but usually Cat boy has uh, some different clothing on. And, yeah, and I liked when he first when she's like, "You're naked" or something along these lines. I'm not reading it, <laughs> and and he's like, "I don't know what that means," <laughs> and she said, "Well, I only have lady clothes," and he goes, "That what does that mean? <laughs> exactly. What are lady clothes?" And so he just. Uh, puts on he puts on her clothes and cuz there is no lady clothes or gentleman clothes they're all just clothes yeah there's some there's some fun stories the uh that's a cat, that's a dog which usually doesn't bark but there's another there, dog out front oh there's a dog 
So, uh, yeah, it's it's funny. They're, uh, I mean, the cat grabs a bird and eats a bird and leaves birds uh, leaves birds as gifts. And yes, and like she has to go to work and she's like, oh, here, well, why don't you read? And the cat's like, I don't know how to read. What's reading? What's reading? What's reading? Yeah, I can't <laughs> read. I'm a cat. <laughs> oh, I've got a party. We're gonna go to a party. One of my cat friends is having a party, and they go to this party and. No, he doesn't say cat friends. Oh, it's a friend. It's a friend, Mimsy. And I was oh, like, yeah. oh, my God, the name is Mimsy. They're, these, they are going to a cat party. Did you think that? Yes, did I did. You really? As soon as I read Mimsy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I didn't. But anyhow, it, it was funny because they, um, they're they cats. They're cats. They're not cat people. They're cats. They're cats, yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of these. and Uh-oh, that was a spoiler. Sorry. Oh, man, they're cats. But, yeah, there's there's it, it's good. There's a whole bunch of these stories. and. And uh, Catboy uh, makes friends and something that she doesn't, right? Olive has trouble making friends. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. She's not. I wasn't sure at first how old she was. And then they go. The, one of the first things they do is go to a bar. So it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Obviously, she's 21 or, yeah. uh, you know, old enough to be in a bar. Mm -hmm. And they buy, <laughs> they go to buy furniture and the cat's clawing all the furniture. It's like, you oh, this is it. nice. Yeah. She's like, um. So they claw, claw this furniture. They have to buy it. <laughs> All this clawed up <laughs> furniture. But yep. um, it's well, fun. because the cat has to get a job. That's very important for the cat to get a job. Well, you're a human now, and that's what you got to do, buddy. Wait, how did the cat? What kind of job did the cat get? A dog sitting job. Oh, that's right. The cat was a dog sitter <laughs> and didn't have anything to do with their money. So they had like boatloads of money. Yeah. But yeah, I, I was wondering why the mattress is lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, what? Because he was stuffing it under the mattress. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's funny. The the Benji's are. I wouldn't think that that would be what a cat would yeah. would decide to do though, right? <laughs> well, right? They'd, they'd hide it. But but uh, he has all these. He still has the cat characteristics. He like uh -huh. she gives him a gift, and um, he thinks the gift is the box because oh, that's what and, he wants. Yeah. And so he, so he opens it, and it's a mug inside, and he like puts the mug. It's like world's uh -huh. best cat or something, uh -huh. and he puts the mug down. He's like, oh, this box is perfect. And he, <laughs> he gets wants in to it. get in it, just like every cat. Every <laughs> so cat ever. strange. I don't think our mm. does she sit in cat in oh, boxes? Not, not like I know. the other one, but we've seen we've seen lions. In boxes yes, too. It's it's a it's cat very thing. Strange. They just get in boxes. Empty they, the moment you empty a box. Yes, even if, if they don't even get in it, sometimes they just get on it. It's just weird. It's it like is very strange. I don't understand it at all. I don't either. But uh, I wish but, I did. but but it's fun. It's fun. Um, the, Have you the, seen the thing with the, per the? It was a YouTube thing years ago, probably now. But they would draw a square or something or a circle, and the cat would get in it. They would like draw a circle on the floor and the cat would get oh and yes i think i see that because they think it's something yes they uh -huh. think it's something yeah it I just makes we, them feel secure to be in there. yeah i bet if we did that if we just put a well we do that you drop a piece of paper on the floor and they sit on he it and sits on yeah it. you're right yeah, they do that that's true that's true oh, so weird i remember when i was in college uh Cam cambria my cat uh would i would have a book out and she would come sit right on my mm, book as yep. i was trying to study and i'm like how am i supposed to yeah. accomplish anything mm -hmm. get off of my book yeah you didn't want anything to do with me exactly and, until this and now here. you have to be on top of my book yeah but this this reminds me uh we're we're watching bojack horseman and there's some of those things because oh, I yeah. I love Mr. Oh Peanut God, Butter, yes. Mr. Peanut Butter, <laughs> and and uh, Pickles, his girlfriend, right now that we're watching. Is her name Pickles? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That doesn't sound. They right. both they both do dog things. I love when he's just talking, and then all of a sudden his tongue is just hanging out. <laughs> his tongue is just hanging his out. Ears his ears pop up. His ears pop up. Yeah. Or Bojack used him for his nose one time to go find uh, the <gasps> doll that he threw over the. Rally. I miss that. <laughs> I miss that one. I know. What well, you talking about, you I saw that because what's her name was living underneath them yeah but i must have missed part of yeah, it yeah he... miss in jail in jail yeah the blonde that felicity huffman yeah didn't she is it, that who did it she is go to jail no not yeah she's fighting it, and they said that she uh she might have a good reason to oh really yeah i haven't read the articles but yeah we're not up on pop culture yeah, i don't care about that but uh but going back over to uh we we forgot we were talking about it before we went on the air about uh being super fans oh of, yeah, of, yeah of things like like Gina Winbrand. We're going back to the first book. Yeah. Gina Winbrand. 
she like becomes a super fan of, of Justin Bieber, uh -huh. a believer. And I, when I was, when I was a kid, I was a super fan of Kiss. I used to, yeah. I think I've talked about this before. I used to buy yeah. magazines, like every month I'd buy these magazines, Cream Magazine and Hip Parader. Cream? Cream, C-R-E-E-M. Um, it was only around for a few years and then the publisher oh. died. Um, I'm actually on the Kickstarter. The, the, his son is making a, uh, a documentary about it. Is it something I, I should understand the meaning of it for cream? Is there some kind of meaning behind it? I don't know. Oh, okay. It was, they were like a hard partying rock and roll magazine and they always had articles. I just loved all the rock and roll articles and stuff, but they had that. And then there was hit parader and some other magazines. Circus circus was another one. They were all rock and roll and all these magazines, especially when kiss before they took their makeup off, it was a big deal to try and catch them without their makeup. So right. there would always be paparazzi trying to catch them without their makeup. And you'd catch them with their hand over their face and stuff like that. And oh, I was going to ask how they did it. Like, did they sneak out with... Bandanas and stuff. Oh, so they Gene, just literally hid their face. Yes. Gene Simmons dated Cher for a while during that time. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Poor Cher. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I get it. I joined the Kiss Army. Um, you know, Aww. so I mean, and I had posters and pictures and crap on the wall, uh, you know, so, so I get that, get that, like being over obsessed with, with bands and, and, and celebrities and stuff. I mean, yeah. back in the seventies, um, Charlie's angels, people were in love with Farrah Fawcett. Every, every, I didn't, but everybody, you know, had millions and millions of boys had pictured the poster of Farrah Fawcett in her bathing suit up on the wall. Jeez. So it was, hey. She made money. Um, doesn't she has something wrong with her now? She's got uh, some type of disease. Really? Or she, or, Don't wait, is she still alive? Fair Falls, I have no idea. Anyhow, yeah, you look that up. Okay. But did you did you did you ever you would started to say, did you ever have any type of obsession like that? I mean, I had lots of different obsessions and um but never like on a specific person. Um, like I never fell in love with celebrities and, you know, hope that, I don't know, that I could marry them and have sex with them and everything. <laughs> yeah. I, like I was, I really don't even want to admit. Oh yes. Farrah Fawcett things. died at 62 of cancer oh. in 2009. So I thought Some she Some disease. Cancer. Yes. Um, I was obsessed with wrestling when I was young. <laughs> Is has, has Melissa been obsessed since then? She has. Yeah, yeah. I was obsessed with, with Melissa. her at that time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I always, I no was wonder, always. No married. wonder you, you, you never tell me that. No wonder you had no problem watching it for a few years when we used to watch it. Yeah. See, I thought I was making you watch it. Oh no, I had. I mean, it wasn't like I, I was probably a, didn't admit that to you. No, I wasn't a huge fan, but it was it was fun. Monday Night Raw, we'd watch. But that. I knew people, and you were like. <laughs> I swear you had asked me we things like, how do you about know it, that person? But I don't know if you ever said like you were obsessed with it and watched oh. it like weeks. Didn't I tell you the Fantasia thing? Fantasia. I never told you the Fantasia thing. Oh, let's you didn't hear, hear about this. You didn't hear about that. I think I've already told this to, on air. What is it? I recorded. Oh, you recorded? That's right. You Stephanie recorded Stephanie McMahon over marrying the Triple Fantasia. H over Fantasia. And your brother was angry. My brother <laughs> was very angry. <laughs> That's right. I did. I did talk about it because uh -huh. uh, he, he messaged me after, the, after it aired. Uh-huh. He he was like, it's okay. He's always so forgiving. But because uh, I know he didn't. Because I mean, I had to oh, do the, the whole wedding, in my yard. Stephanie McMahon wedding. Uh -huh. okay, right, I had right, to right. do the whole taping over the because you know they uh -huh. pulled up. I'm sorry, the tape, tape over it so that yeah. I could tape it. But I I used to go out and buy blank tapes so I could tape over it. And then yeah. I I didn't have the tapes and we lived out in the middle of nowhere so it, I couldn't just run to the you know run ten minutes away and get um get a blank tape or whatever. So no, exactly. But it wasn't good enough that my friend was, she probably had DVR oh. and was recording oh, yeah, two doors yeah. down. Yeah, I know. I know. But um, yeah, I've got more well, stuff that I still have on VHS that I've never watched. I recorded it, but I've never watched it. On VHS? On VHS. Like what? Family videos? DVD. What did I say? No, you said VHS. Oh, yeah. No, no. The Buffalo Bills. Oh. Buffalo Bills. You stuff don't, from, you don't ever watch it. You don't ever watch, not you, anybody. You never watch it. Why do people need to record I things? I don't know why I, mean, I did. I, yes. I, there's so many things that. There, cause, cause I thought that I would, I may have watched it once and that yeah. was it. But no, it's I like, don't know why, why anybody. That's why when we moved here. Changing I things to digital a, has been so amazing because. Well, that's why when we moved here, I brought a lot of stuff. But once we yeah. got here, I'm like, you know what? I'm going through this stuff again. And I, I filled know. up. I filled up a you whole, did. 
a whole recycle bin full of paper. It would have been nice to have done that before I, I, I we moved that. across the country. I, no, no, no. When we moved here just recent last year. I know what you mean. Across country too, I could have gotten rid of a lot of stuff. Yes. Too. Yes, but that was that was also have. seven years ago. That's some of that stuff was a lot newer still back then. And I didn't know if I'd ever need it. It was yeah. a lot of it was research and stuff. Yeah, I know all those mafia books that I had to pack up and then I unpacked. And, and then I repacked again. And we've sold a lot of them now. <laughs> I realized they this, never got touched. Well, there's no place to put them either. So. Well, we had we had like a whole little library. We did. Essentially, that nobody ever looked at. So. Nope. So I just I've kept. The I know I would say something about our mafia books. library, and people are like what? <laughs> I had three. Yeah, when you walk in the door, books. the the bookshelves full of mafia books. Oh, three hundred books so on the mafia. Books. Got rid of a lot of them, but I kept the ones that were the most important ones. I thought. Um, I'm glad that you said you thought. Yeah. Yeah, nothing's that important. But um, yeah, so I mean, I, I get the again obsession stuff, but um, yeah, but but that I'm kind of uh, that that's a different kind of obsession. That's when I'm working on a project and I get obsessed with it and f- go a hundred feet deep into it. And yes, yeah, I know, I know. But uh, you know, it, it happens. Yeah. It happens. You're passionate a, about things. So that's good. I'm not a hoarder. So that's a good thing. <laughs> good. We started to watch that yesterday. I'm like, oh, I can't watch this stuff. What? Oh, hoarder. yeah. Hoarder. What is it? Hort. Hort. I don't remember. I what forgot it's called. what it was. Hoarders but under, it was, the, it was, under the sink. It wasn't like the regular hoarders no, it was one TLC of the other ones. show. Buried it was alive. like buried alive. Hoarders, that's it. Buried and alive. it's like a um, dateline. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do, 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 it was really hoarder. strange. This hoarder has been buried alive. I, it's, I, I mean, and, and it's sad because this one woman, her daughter and son-in-law came over. They're like, oh, God. They're like, what is They the obviously smell? haven't been in the house for years. Well, because they lived, she lived, she had moved away. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah. But, I mean, it, it, and why does it make you sad? Because it's sad that that happens. It is sad that it happens, but it does, happens. does it touch close to home for you? It's not sad to me. Not in that way. No, I've already said that they could bulldoze my parents' house. I don't give a shit. Oh, okay. I've already told my sister before, long before we ever moved out out west. I said that that's your problem. I'm not dealing. That with is it. so terrible. Um, I'm not dealing with it because you know your sister would have called me and I would have come running. If, yeah. If your family hadn't done to me what they did. I know, but I said that's it. It's over. Uh, you know, I don't care. They, you know, haven't haven't been in my mother's house since 2010. 2009. The end of 2009. Yeah. She, yep. she shut every, after your father died. The end. We, we literally came, the end of like 2009. We, we, we never came maybe. in her house again. Yeah. Probably. That was it. Yeah. That was so it. That's Remember 10 she, years ago. Yeah. So uh, she, she may have cleaned it up by then, by now. And, I, I hope yeah. so for her sake. Anyhow, that is that. So, uh, Catboy, good book. Enjoyed that one. Oh, yes. I it, loved it. It was fun. The, I it, laughed out loud. You many did. Times many times you laughed book. out loud. It was yes. Just so, it was so cute. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, I, I, oh, and then she gets sick, and Catboy uh, tries to help take care of her. And he, not Catboy Henry, sorry. And he. Um, His name is Henry? Is that it? Oh, I think you're right. Is it Henry? Now I'm questioning. No, you're myself. right. I saw it at the beginning. His name is Henry. Yeah, but he, Henry. But he is Catboy. I he no, he is a Catboy. Oh, he's he is not a Catboy, cat boy, but he he's is Henry. a Catboy. You're right. Okay. He's Henry. Um, he, and so he try he like tries to do all the things that he's uh that he's supposed to, you know, that he knows are things that help. You know, oh, uh, she likes tea, so I'm gonna make her some tea, and he thinks it's just hot water and leaves from yeah, the tree so outside. He pulls leaves. It's just water, hot water, and leaves. He puts leaves in it. And soup. I can't eat this. It's a slice of pizza in hot water. (laughs) You can put anything in soup. (coughs) I mean, doesn't Henry like pizza too? Are you? Yes, he eats anchovy pizza. Oh yeah, all the time. And um, and um, are you dead? I don't think that dead bodies snore. (laughs) And so then he lays down on top of her like a good cat does. Yeah. And uh, went to sleep. I do love the style that he that he has that improves throughout the. And I mean, they dress together, mm-hmm. you know, and improves throughout the uh, throughout the book. I really like that. I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, no, that, that that was a fun book. Yeah. And then the back cover, it's got a. They have jackets on that say "Best Friends." Oh yeah, that's yeah. so cute. <laughs> Is it the same that's on the front? Or is that something different? It might be. The uh, same it thing. looks like the same. Yeah. The same may, might be the same. Yeah. Jacket. No, those look like hoodies. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it's the same color. That's what I was just wondering. But you're There's right; those do look like hoodies. Color, but, yeah. but yeah, it was a fun book, and it was a fun book. I I, I enjoyed reading it. You know, when, like again, when we were at Short Run, just grabbed a bunch of stuff because I was trying to grab. Stuff. Oh, did this come from Short Run? I forgot. I only said that at the beginning of the show. Well, I'm not listening to you. <laughs> but yeah, so it was it was a good book. I enjoyed it. Thank you, Benji, and uh, yes, and the, thank you, Gina. Thanks, Gina. Picked up yours. I forgot somewhere else. Got it online somewhere. Oh. Um. But uh, that's that for this week. This is episode 32, I believe. 32. Yeah, we're cruising along. We've yeah. got, I, uh, I planned out the next month today. So we've got uh, a bunch of new books coming. It's so frustrating to me when you do that, just so you know. You haven't done it. We were at the last week on the calendar and you haven't done I it. I know. I looked at it two days ago and I was like. Two days ago. And I was like, I just, I'm just going to wait until the I end of the it. week nope. and then I'm going to wipe it and do it. But now I can't see this week on here and it makes me feel. This week, very. It, you have an iPhone. It's on there. It doesn't matter. I like. That's why I bought that. That is my calendar. You really shouldn't touch it. I bought it. <laughs> so, you bought it because I said yep. I think that I would like to get a calendar, and so you take that as I'm just going to go buy whatever I think of, and it's incredibly frustrating for somebody who has something on their mind, and it is very difficult for me <laughs> to. Okay. Anyway, thanks for the respectful conversation oh, that you're having with stop. me. <laughs> I asked you before I purchased it. You did. I did. And there's actually two of them. Remember? Oh, that's right. I forgot about yes, that. Yes, it came with two. But it came with markers and everything. I know. And I know. It I, was fine, it, but it, was, it wasn't it was, what I had in my head. I, I know. And you know how I am. I know. But <laughs> I, I asked you. You said it was okay. And then it wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. Either. Oh, no. No, okay. it wasn't exactly. Because that wasn't how you described it to me either. So. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't exactly what I thought. But it, okay. it's working for us. It works. But it, it does make me feel a little bit crazy when you refuse to. When you just. <gasps> okay. But over. you remember a month ago I did that too. I know. And I told you not to. Uh-huh. And you did it anyway. this was the last week it, but it has to go through i have to have no. the visual you could have put you could have done it i could have i've done that sometimes where i just moved the I last week the to the top then i know i wish you would do that <laughs> i wish you would have done it i was planning to take care of it at the end of the week you always right. just jump next gun. week we've got a, a great book it's a preview <sighs> copy of the, the story bix by scott chandler and uh we're gonna do a, a, a apropos we're going to be doing Apocalypse Nerd in a couple of weeks from Peter Bag. Oh, my goodness. He did that uh, after 9-11. So uh, it has a lot of the same feelings in it that, uh, we're, that, all feeling that we're feeling right now. So uh, I read that one, finished it, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. And uh, Short Run had – I mean, um, Short Run still on schedule for November. And um, the – you know, right now the uh, Emerald City Comic Con is scheduled for – the end of August. End of August. So yeah. hopefully that uh, that you know everything is is cool by then. We don't know. We won't know probably for a couple months. Yeah, but, uh, exactly. But we'll see. All right. Until next week. My name is Mike, and I'm Parker, and this is the, the Graphic, Graphic Novel, Novel Podcast. Podcast. Thanks for listening to the Graphic Novel Podcast. Make sure you find us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at Graphic Novel Pod. Uh, the other places, I think it's Graphic Novel Podcast, but it's Graphic Novel Pod on Twitter. Um, I was surprised I remember that much. So I know, because you know what? I would not have remembered that. It was, <laughs> was good. And if you like the show, please go to your favorite store that you listen to podcasts. And uh, at least give us a five star. Or if you have the time, leave a review. Um, you can send us an email at graphicnovelpodcast at gmail.com. Tell your friends about us. Definitely tell your friends about us. Uh, check us out. You know, uh, visit us on social media on Twitter. That's that's where uh, I am the most. It's on Twitter. Uh, I try to avoid Facebook at all costs. Um, and you can also, if you go to anchor.fm, and slash graphic novel podcast you can go to our site and you can leave us a voice message and if you leave us a nice message maybe we'll play it on the air is that it nothing else you don't want to say anything else nope good for you crabby duck